Hi everybody, it's Dara, and we are headed into Memorial Day weekend, which is so much fun, and it's so great, but a lot of you are wondering, I've heard some questions, how do I deal with family members or friends or social situations when I want to eat raw food or I want to eat healthy, but I'm faced with all kinds of things? And first I'm going to say that when you're facing other people that don't know that eating this is preventative medicine, we are so lucky when we know that we get to prevent disease by eating these or this or these, okay? Food is our medicine. What we put into our mouths affects everything. And I mean everything. I mean it affects how we detoxify. It ha affects what stays in our system and clogs us up. It affects what feeds on the inside. It affects unwanted visitors that could stay and have a party unless we clear out and we don't give room for those things to grow. So we want to really always be cleaning. You know, I don't look at eating um, this as a diet, it's a lifestyle. So when I know I'll feel good during when I eat a meal of watermelon or a salad, I'll feel good after and I'll feel good the next morning, that is what I think about when making my choices to eat. So, okay, so we also want to know, before I go into the other thing, is that when we eat raw living food, we are the colors, the phytonutrients, the minerals. We get a better chance of absorbing all of these things that our bodies need when we eat living organic food. So that our cells are happy and singing and vibrant and that we are not only detoxifying but nourishing okay and that we are cleaning ourselves cleaning our lymph system cleaning our blood cleaning our organs and that so then we're not clogged and we're open for beautiful things to happen into our lives because after our body and our skin our largest organ there's an energy level around all of us and so if that energy level is clean we magically call in beautiful experiences, people, and opportunities. So it's not just how much energy you have, how beautiful you look, and how you feel, which is all great. It's all the, also the experiences in our life. So that being said, what is more important than that? What's more important than you? Are somebody else's belief system around food more important than your health and well-being? Is their sense of comfort and tradition and culture more important than where you're at in your life and fulfilling your current desires. So who are they? They're not in your body. Sure, they get to do whatever they want. They get to eat whatever they want. They get to be in the bliss of ignorance <laughs> if they don't know. If they do know, that's sometimes worse because they feel like they're sabotaging their own happiness and health. But you get to make the choice. So all I'm saying is the way to do that is think how you want to feel while you're eating it, after eating, and the next morning. You think about yourself, really think about yourself. Think about your own belief system. I believe that it makes a difference what I put in my body. I believe that I want to keep getting better. You know, I believe that I want to be my very best, and I don't want to go down a slippery slope. So if we keep our food intake consistent with gorgeous, vibrant, beautiful foods, then we are living that consistently. So for me, it's not a diet, and I don't believe in a raw food challenge. It just is. If we are lucky enough to get organic fruits and vegetables, it's a privilege and a luxury. And that's how I like to look at this situation, as a lifestyle. So living consistently from Monday to Friday, and Friday's the weekend, how do we want to feel on Monday? Do we want to feel vibrant and ready to go and be like, what's everybody else doing? Why are they so sleepy? Do we want to feel awake? That means if the answer is yes, that means anything that we're faced with, that our families or friends serve us, we can say, you know what, today I feel like eating oranges and we have a bag or a bowl of oranges. I feel like eating this salad and I brought some, would you like to have some? 
that's what I feel like eating today. No excuses. I mean, you could say uh, my doctor has suggested or I'm under doctor's orders or you could come up with, you know, things like this is a special, I'm trying to fix something in my body. You can do that and then you open yourself up to debates about it or you can just simply say, I choose this. Okay? I choose this. This is what I'm eating today. You should try it. It feels great. Or don't say you should try it. Just do what makes you feel good. And these days, there's so many ways of caring for ourselves. And there's so many. You can bring a, a raw food bar. You could bring bananas. You could. When I go to people's homes or I go to a function, I make sure I have food in my car and or a green juice or a green smoothie and I can go to the car and sip on it if I have to. I can drink it before I go in. I always make sure there's something in my vehicle or in my purse so that I'm not stuck hungry and that I need to eat something I don't want to eat, you know. So it's partly we need to be prepared. We need to be able to say no thank you or yes to this and really know that what other people are doing is their business. What you do is your business. And I don't try to convince anybody to do this. I just simply do this. And I've definitely gone to dinners where definitely I'm the odd one, but it's okay. And that's what I want to say heading into the weekend. So prepare yourself with things like my no bean hummus and some flax crackers or uh, chips sliced from zucchini. Prepare yourself with uh, my one true thing green soup and have that in a mason jar to go share it with somebody prepare yourself with having a bag of apples in the car at all times so that you know you have something there to eat so that being said I really want to wish you an amazing weekend or amazing day whenever you're watching this remember that it's our choice okay so just for a game, you can look at what other people are eating and notice their energy and what they look like. And you say, is that what I want to do? Yeah, they're all having fun right now, but how are they going to feel? And we want to feel and look and be our very best for ourselves and for our loved ones. So the very people who are kind of balking at your food choices, they're kind of going to be happy that you're there feeling good, maybe. And you, they won't have to take care of you if you take care of yourself. And that, to me, is just the best thing we can do for our loved ones. So, happy weekend and uh, get your greens on. And I will see you guys really soon.